sight of them. Lord, I will praise you with all of my heart. How marvelous the works you do. Search me, O oh God, and know all of my heart. Damn, you shouldn't go in here. They kill children in here. Why would you go into a place that kills children? Over 300,000 little babies a year are killed by Planned Parenthood. Why would you go in there? Doesn't your conscience speak to you? you put a mask on, but God sees you. There will be no masks on Judgment Day. When you open the door, you're supporting the hands that shed innocent blood. You're giving them business, and they stay open. Every time the door opens, they are able to stay open. Many people say, I'm not going in for an abortion. Yes, no one goes into Planned Parenthood for abortions today. But yet, that's, their, that's on their main menu. That's how they keep their doors open. Doesn't no matter why you're in there, if you're in there, whether you're a worker, whether you're an employee, whether you're a customer of Planned Parenthood, Understand this, when the door opens, they're in business, and you're enabling them to stay in business. God sees it. Everybody walks in there with a mask. They have a mask on, but God sees you behind the mask. God sees you, God sees what you're doing, and you're going to face God on judgment day for your iniquities, for murder, for supporting hands that shed innocent blood. Turn from your sin today. There's hope in Jesus Christ. You don't have to go to Planned Parenthood to do anything. There are other ways. If you're in there and you're, you're contemplating an abortion, we would say, come on out. Come on out and talk to us. We, there are other options. You can have your baby adopted. Yes, your baby. It's a baby. And your baby can be adopted by someone who, who would take care of that baby, who would love that baby. And maybe you can meet up with that baby later in life. There's no reason to kill an innocent child. No reason to kill an innocent child. Ma'am, you shouldn't go in there neither. Why would you go into a place that kills over 300,000 babies a year? Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Do I what? That's murder. No, it's not. That is not murder. It's not murder. That's a good so, so that gives you an alibi to kill a child? They kill babies in here. Babies are murdered in here. Are you pregnant? They kill babies in here. I'm sure you have a conscience. God gave you a conscience if you look in the mirror. Ma'am, you should get a new job. This job's going to cost you your soul. Yeah. You have a mask on, but God sees you. You have dirty hands, hands full of blood. Yeah. Innocent blood. They kill babies in here, man. Why would you go in here? Well, either way, you're still going in. You're supporting the hands that shed innocent what blood. Doing it? Well, I'm it doesn't matter. I don't know. What does that mean? If you're Catholic and you supposedly, supposedly listen to God, you should never go into Planned Parenthood. Never. But many Catholics do because Catholicism, Catholics are not Christians. Many Muslims come into Planned Parenthood. They're not true worshippers of God neither. It's just vain religion. Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruits. And you'll know the workers of iniquity by their fruits, whether the fruit is good or whether it is rotten. Don't murder. Murdering your baby is not going to get you anywhere. You have a conscience, right? Are you born? You were born. God is watching. Killing a baby is has nothing to do with, or equates killing an animal. No. no. Yeah, they're alive, but, 
But it's, a, it's not a human being, and your conscience knows that. Your conscience knows that. And ma'am, if you're, a, if you're a, a vegan, let me ask you this. Where do you get your plant food from? Where do you get your fertilizer from? For your plants? It's ground, ground up. Don't come back in a place if you're Catholic, you say you believe in God. God's watching you. God sees you. You could say you're Catholic. Doesn't mean anything to God. If you go to pray to God, he's not going to hear you. God says, Jesus said you must be born again to enter into the kingdom of God. The Pope's not going into heaven. What chance is there for you? Ma'am, you need to repent before God. You need to turn from your sin today. Turn from your sin, ma'am. Your sin's killing you. Your conscience, I could see, is welled up inside. It's even hard to drive. You need to repent and believe the gospel as Jesus Christ said, the author and giver of human life and all life. The Bible says to Peter, rise, kill, and eat, as God has ordained all things to be eaten. All things. Not children, no. Children aren't to be eaten. Children aren't to be killed by their mothers. It's abnormal. Ma'am, you shouldn't come in here. They kill children. Well, you should go somewhere else. Because when you open the door, you support Planned Parenthood. Yeah, they kill babies in here. You don't want to go in there. Your conscience must tell you. Your, con I don't do that, so Your conscience will tell you, but they do. They do. You. You're supporting they them. Do. You're supporting them. God sees it. Having a mask on is not going to help you on Judgment Day. I need to get right with God today. Don't kill your baby. Your baby will feel the pain. Your baby will definitely feel the pain. It'll burn inside with a pill. You're killing your child. It's murder. God sees it. All you women walked in there with a mask. You don't want you don't want to get germs, but you're able to kill your child. What hypocrisy. What hypocrisy. There'll be no masks on judgment day, ladies. No masks on judgment day. God sees you in there. God knows you're in there. Your conscience knows you shouldn't be in there. You need to listen to your conscience. Turn from your sin today. Whether it be the sin of fornication, living in sex outside of marriage. Something in sin drove you here today. Something about sin drove you to Planned Parenthood today. Maybe you're coming in for an STD test. Again, that's, that's from having sex outside of marriage with multiple partners. You need to turn from that. You need to turn from your sin today. Your sin will cost you your soul. Jesus said, what shall I profit a man or a woman if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You need soul. forgiveness. Jesus Christ can give you forgiveness. But you must turn from this place. Turn from all your sin. Give your life to Christ today. Start anew. Start a new life. But you must, you must be willing to turn to Jesus. Jesus doesn't make you turn to Him. Jesus doesn't force you to do anything. You need to turn from your sin today. Don't kill your children. Your baby will feel the pain. Your baby will feel the pain. Ma'am, you go in there with, with a mask on, but you're going to face God without a mask for your, all your sin. You need forgiveness. You need forgiveness. We love you. We tell you the truth. It's tough love. We tell you the truth. The Bible says, faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of the enemy are deceit. We tell you the truth. 
Bible's, the Bible says, the Apostle Paul says, Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? I tell you the truth. We're not your enemy. We're your friend. People in there taking your money, taking your money for profit, taking your money for profit, blood money, giving you bad counsel to kill your own children. They don't care about you. They only care about the almighty dollar. The almighty dollar. Turn from your sin today and give your life to Christ who loves you. Jesus Christ loves you. But that doesn't mean that you automatically get a ticket to heaven. There are many people in hell today that Jesus Christ loves. Yep. Many people today in hell who Jesus Christ loves. Why are they in hell? You say, if Jesus loved them. Because they're His enemies. They commit sin. They trespass against Him. They trample the blood of Christ. Jesus has made a way out. Open that door of forgiveness. You can open that door today if you would just turn from your sin and yield to Jesus Christ. Start a new life with you and your child today. Start a new life. It's sunny out. Don't walk out of Planned Parenthood a dark and cloudy and, and depressive type of place into the sunlight and feel like you don't even want to see the sun. How many of you are walking out of Planned Parenthood like you're walking out of doomsday? Yes, it's a feeling. I know. I know you feel that. You don't even want to see the sun. Because Planned Parenthood does not go with the sun. Planned Parenthood is a place of destruction, a place of death, a place of doom. That cares nothing for you or your child. Anything to do with your child that cares not. Because there's no money in that. The only way Planned Parenthood stays open is through the, the money. The money of murder. It's murder money, it's blood money, it's abortion money. And that's the only way they stay open. They're not your friends. They care nothing for you or your family. They're not going to fix your problem. Your problem is just going to grow. You may say, well, I'm going to rid my problem, which you, you consider to be your child. But that's not your problem. You're going to find that out the hard way. Don't find out the hard way, as many women have, who regret it having an abortion to the point of even killing themselves. It becomes oppressive and depressive. And, and many women have postpartum abortion syndrome who end up getting hooked on drugs and alcohol, being abused by men, going back and cycle after cycle. It continues and continues until they say enough. And they seek salvation. They seek salvation in killing themselves. They seek salvation in death. They seek salvation in suicide. Or worse yet, I don't know much which is worse than suicide. Nothing more worse than suicide, especially for something that you've done that you could have prevented. Prevent this today. Don't let these counselors of Satan counsel you into uh, killing your child. They're counselors of Satan. This is a house of demons. It's a house of the devil. It's a house of horrors. The blood of 350,000 innocent babies cry out every year. Every year that Planned Parenthood destroys. This place needs to shut down. Let it start with you. Let it start with you. Many, many women have come to the truth. They have come to the knowledge that this place does not care for them. They will convince you to get rid of your child, almost like convince you like a, like a used car salesman in buying a car. Yes, they'll give you a better price this week than next week. And they'll give you a better price this week than next month because the baby's going to be bigger. It's going to cost more money. Hold on to your baby, ladies. Get up. Get out of there. Walk out of there. And God sees you in there. He's willing to forgive. 
God is more than willing if to forgive. If you're more than willing to repent and believe the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. That's eternal death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. He can give you eternal life. But you must turn from death. You must turn from sin. This place is a house of death. House of death. And many run into it. How many women are running into the house of death today? Parking lots full. Parking lots full. Planned Parenthood's making good money today. And to you workers of iniquity, find a new job. It's not worth your salvation. It's not worth the cost of your soul. It's not worth going to hell. Don't go to hell. Hell is hot. Hell is hot. It is a place where Jesus said the fire is never quenched and the worm never dies. Don't go to a place that you can't handle. You'll never be able to handle hell. It's a continual, continual place where the smoke of your torment will ascend up forever. It doesn't go away. You're tormented day and night. Night and day. Repent of your sins today. Turn from your murder. Turn from your fornication. Turn from your homosexuality. Turn from your sins. Turn from your lies. Turn from your deceit. Turn from your idolatry. They killed children in here, man. Turn to Jesus Christ. About 350,000 a year. Uh, you're going in there. You're supporting them. That's what they do. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. You, you go in there. You're supporting the hands that shed innocent blood. God sees it. Having a mask on is not going to help you on Judgment Don't Day. Kill your baby. They gave you pills to take. The baby will be burnt out. The baby feels the pain. You have a conscience. God gave you a conscience. God's watching you. Ma'am, what do you have a cross around your neck for? Obviously, it's not a good luck charm for you. It's not working. You need to get right with the real God today. You need to get right with Jesus Christ, who's not on the cross anymore. Jesus can save you, but you must repent of your sins. Turn from your fornication. Turn from your wickedness. You can be gloriously born again. Open to John 3, 3 through 5 and read. Read the Gospel of John, ma'am. Jesus will speak to you. I need to get right with God today. What if you die tonight? You die in sin, it's off to hell. Don't die in your sin. Whatever your sin may be, turn from it today. It's not worth an eternity in hell. Jesus Christ can give you forgiveness, but you must turn from your sin. And put your trust in Him as the sacrifice for your sin. There's no sin. No sin worth an eternity in hell. No amount of pleasure is worth an, a, a minute in hell. Hell is eternal torment. Hell is what it is. Hell. Many people will say, hey, go to hell. We don't want you to go to hell. It's not a figure of speech. Hell is a real place. Yes, hell is a real place. It is a place that Jesus spoke about where the fire is never quenched and the worm never dies. And ma'am, we don't want you to go to hell neither. You need to turn from your sin. Going, going into this place is a house of death. There's nothing good. You, I see it in your eyes. You know it. Listen to your conscience, ma'am. God does not want you in this place. God does not want you in this place. You don't want to be in this place. But your sin your sin has caused you to come to the place of death. This is a house of death, a house of horrors. But you can have forgiveness if you would turn from your sin today. Come out of Planned Parenthood. Stop supporting them. They kill babies. 
They kill babies. They kill the innocent. You know, those that are in the womb. Those that have no voice. Those that can't protect themselves. Those that can't defend themselves. And they depend on mommy. Mommy to defend them. Turn from this wicked place today. Wicked house of horrors today. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. Yes, the wages of your sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. God wants to give you a gift. But you must turn from your sin. You can't have your sin and go to heaven too. You can't have your sin and go to heaven too. The Bible says that God does not even hear sinners. Doesn't even hear them. Why? Because they're abounding in filth. They're abounding in filthiness. They're abounding in iniquity. Abounding in wickedness. The Bible says God doesn't even hear them people. You need to do what you were created to do. To love God and keep His commandments. You need to turn back to God. Turn back to God. Repent. The Bible says, Behold, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither His ear heavy that He cannot hear, but your iniquities, yes, that's all your, your evil things that you do, your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins. Yes, the Bible says your sins have hidden His face from Him, from God, that He will not hear you. Sin hides the face of God. Sin is a barrier between you and God. You need to put your sin down. Pick up a Bible. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. Do you know Jesus? Of course. Are you Catholic? Of course. Jesus is the reason I'm here. He's the reason. Yeah, well, He made you, right? Yes. Are you born again, though? Uh huh? Are you born again? Have you ever heard the term? No. No? You know the Gospel of John? It's the, it's the last Gospel. You have Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. If you, do you have a Bible? Yeah, I have one at home. Do you? If you go to the Gospel of John, you'll see where Jesus is speaking about how we get to heaven. He says, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, I'm mentioning that to you because I've seen you made the sign of the cross. I used to make the sign of the cross myself. I was raised Catholic in my confirmation, in my communion, but I was, I was not a child of God. Um, you must become a child of God through being born again. That means you're born of His Spirit. That means when, when Jesus Christ, it's not through baptism, it's through baptism when He gives you His Spirit. John the Baptist says, I baptize you with water, but there comes one mightier than me, whose shoes I am not worthy to, to unlatch it. He shall baptize you with fire and with the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Spirit. When you become baptized with the Holy Spirit, when Jesus gives you His Holy Spirit, you'll become a new creature in Christ. All things will become new. I pray to God every day, bro. I yeah, but, but does He hear you? Like you do sometimes, do you? Yeah. Do you have sin in your life? Do you have any types of sin that you do? Yeah, well, I sin a lot. See, that's it. Sin's a barrier between us and God. You know, I mean, it's the one thing that separates us from God. It's the one thing that sends us to hell. Sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That's talking about an eternity in hell. You know, I've been trying to change myself as a person. Right. I'm glad I woke up that's today. That's good. You know? Yeah. I've been trying to do everything I can to be a better person. Right. Changing good, you know. I was going through a lot before. Uh, I'm a, a much better person. All right. But praise God. I'm glad you're you're starting to clean up your life, and that's good. We need to clean up our lives. We need to learn from our past mistakes. Uh, the, you know, it's basically foolish if you keep doing the same thing over and over, and you're not. Learn from my mistakes. Right. That's good. Definitely. You know, wise people do that. So you, you have some wisdom, okay? But the thing is, you're not forgiven of your past sins. They're not just mistakes. They're sins. You need forgiveness of that. How do you get forgiveness of that? Honestly, man. Uh, just 
pray to God every day. Pray that every day gets better, you know? If, if there was a way that you could know that you could be forgiven of that, would you choose the path? Of course. Um, as, I, as I speak to you, this is the gospel truth. If you repent of your sins, turn from them, and give your life to Jesus Christ, step over the line for Him, Jesus Christ will give you His Holy Spirit. You will have a surety of heaven today. He'll, he'll give you His Holy Spirit, baptize you with it, and you can start a new life. You'll not only be able to clean well, up your life. I got baptized, though. I got baptized a month ago. Okay, I was baptized too. And after, after that, that's when I started making better choices. In my okay, life. well, maybe God's working through that. But you still need to be, you still need to step over the line and give everything to Him. And I mean your life. Like, Jesus said, why call ye me Lord, Lord? And, and Luke 6, 46. Why do you call me Lord and do not do what I do? So if you're still committing sin every day, you're, we're not doing the things that he does. Jesus said, if the Son shall set you free, you shall be free indeed. So you can be freed from your sin. It's almost like you just don't have forgiveness of it. You just don't have uh, freedom from the consequences of it, which is hell. But you also have, like sin's like a, a slave master. It says, do it. If you ever smoke cigarettes or smoke marijuana or, or fornicate or, or sex outside of marriage, you know it's a, it's a continual cycle that actually gets stronger and stronger. And it, it's like a, it becomes your slave master and it tells you what to do. But you can have freedom of that. Jesus said, if, if the sun shall set you free, you shall be free. You'll come to hate sin. Sin will be abnormal for you. That's, that's the difference about being born again. You know? Can I give you something to read? I can give it to you in two seconds. It, it's so important to, to under... I didn't know that as a Catholic. I thought being born again was being baptized in the water. That's what the priest told me. But when you start reading the Bible, which is God's Word, it gives us, it gives us light. Can I have one of them Mark Cahill books? Yeah. You have a Bible? Yes, I don't. Do you? Do you, have, you have like a pocket one where you can... Um, my mom's crazy. Yeah? All, yeah. all right. I mean, I, I got a small pocket one. You can look up verses if you ever want to check uh, verses. But this this goes into like apologetics. It talks about how we know the Bible's true, not just religion. But how is the Bible true? And how do we know that's true? And talks about the, the things of God and, and how we can just put our trust in what God has said in the Bible. You know? What's your name? What is it? Junior. My name's Carl. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'll be praying for you. Uh, it's Giuliano? Junio. Julio? Junio. J-U-N-I-E-O. Junio. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. We'll All be right. praying for you. All right. Thank you. God bless you, man. Amen. You give you... I mean, imagine, imagine standing in front of Planned Parenthood and preaching in front of it. God will give you the power to do that, man. Of sin is death. Take care, Junio. Yeah, sin. Whether it be fornication, having sex outside of marriage, whether it be abortion, which is murder, the wages, your salary for that will be eternal death. So death is coming for you. A lot of women go in here, they go in here to kill their babies. But understand, death is coming for you too. And you will face a holy God on Judgment Day. You will stand before Him alone. A mask will not help you on Judgment Day, sir. You may have a mask on now. <laughs> it's not going to help you on Judgment Day. And you know what? Your hands are filthy. You could disinfect your hands. You can disinfect your mask. You can do everything. But you're going to stand before a holy God, sinner. You're going to stand before Him to give an account for all your sins. All your sins. Not just your sin of homosexuality, but your sin of fornication. Your sin of lying, stealing, scamming, killing your babies, yep. You stand before God alone. Having sex outside of marriage, you stand before God. God sees it. You gotta turn from your sin today, ma'am. Don't kill your babies. They killed 350,000 babies in there. Well, you shouldn't support them. How can you support them? How can you support the hands? 350,000 children a year. Do you understand that? 350,000 children a year. 
and you shake your head like it's no big deal. It's a big deal to God and your finger's not going to not going to matter on judgment day, sinner. You'll stand before a holy God alone. You won't be with your girlfriend, you won't be with your sister, you won't be with your mother, you won't be with your father. You'll stand before a holy God alone. God sees you sitting in that car right now, sinner. God sees you sitting in the car right now. I can't hear you. Come out of the car. I'm born again. I'm born again, child of God. You're a sinner. I can't hear you. Hold on a minute. Wait till the truck goes by. What'd you say? Am I God Himself? Do I look like God? Says who? Says who? I'm not judging you. If, if you're worried about my judgment, wait till my wait till my God judges you. My God is gonna judge you. You're already condemned. Jesus said, "He that is without the Son is condemned already." You're already on your way to hell. Absolutely. So turn from that. Why would you go to hell? Why would you go to hell? No, you don't. You can't handle hell. Hell's too hot. Hell is too hot. Jesus said, fear God. Fear not them that kill the body, but rather fear Him, speaking of God, who has the power to destroy both soul and body in hell. Jesus said, hell is a, pla Jesus said, hell is a place where the fire is never quenched and the worm never dies. In other words, you're going to be tormented forever. And you want to go there? What do you think, there's a party in hell? There's no party in hell. The party has been canceled due to the fire. The party in hell has been canceled due to the fire. But there's still hope for you. God's not willing that the wicked should perish. Even the wicked. God has no pleasure in the death of the wicked but that the wicked should turn from all their sins, the Bible says. God has said that he hath committed or she has committed. And turn to God and keep his commandments and do that which is lawful and right. The Bible goes on to say, Speaking of God, have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die and not return from their ways and live? Don't you can't support this. How do you go in here? They murder you got a mask on, ma'am. But your hands are full of your hands are full of blood. They kill 350,000 a year. Go somewhere else. Don't give them the business. If you give them the business, they stay open. Your conscience knows it. I know you know it. I can see it in your eyes. Your conscience knows this place is wrong. Please go somewhere else. Please. Well, that's what they do. They, they 350,000 babies a year, innocent. Don't, don't kill your babies. They cry out from the womb. You're supporting them, ma'am. It doesn't matter. You need to stop your fornication. Your fornication has brought you here. Your sex outside of marriage, your sin, has brought you to Planned Parenthood. You're not coming to Planned Parenthood to get a teeth cleaning. No one in Planned Parenthood is getting your teeth cleaned today. No one in Planned Parenthood's going in for a, a checkup because they're not feeling well. Or they have a sore ear, they have an earache. Or they got the sniffles. No, they're going in here to take care of their sin. People in Planned Parenthood have a sin problem. You need to come out of that. You need to turn from your sin problem. Jesus Christ can is the remedy for that. Jesus Christ can give you a new life. He'll give you new desires, a new heart. He'll even give you His Holy Spirit if you would turn from your sin and give your life to Him. Jesus Christ said, Whosoever shall come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Don't take that pill. Why are you supporting murder? The baby will feel the pain. It gets burnt out. There's a burning in Don't. the stomach. The burn, you'll get, you'll get hemorrhage. It's very painful for the baby. The You're gonna baby bleed. Needs you. There's no reason to kill your baby. Please 
don't take that pill. The baby will feel the pain. Ma'am, we, we have people that would adopt your baby. You can give your child life. You can meet up with them later on in life. There are ways out. There are options. You don't have to listen to people that don't care about you. We sincerely care about you and your child. Please, please don't do it. Don't kill your child. Your child is inside of your body right now saying, Mommy, Mommy, don't, don't do this. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, Mommy. The safest place for a, a baby to be should be in the womb of its mother. Never, never should a child have to worry about being killed. Never should she have to, or he should have to worry about being killed by its own mother. Don't kill your children. Children are a blessing of the Lord. You can meet up with that child later on in life. I'm glad you left the building, ma'am. I'm glad you left. You. Spread the news. This place is a, a place of death, a place of horror. Yes. Jesus said the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Repent and believe the gospel. You need to repent of your sins. Jesus said that repentance and the remission which should be preached in His name. In the name of Jesus for the forgiveness of your sin. Your sin has brought you to parenthood. He's the true counselor. He's the counselor, the mighty God. Lasting Father and the Prince of Peace. He can give you peace today. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Amen. And He can give you new life. Yes. You need to repent. You're a work, wicked worker of iniquity. You need to turn from your sins today. I know your conscience screams at you. I know you see things that are unbearable to even look at. How can you work for this place? Give your life to Jesus Christ today. You don't know whether you have tomorrow, worker of iniquity, sinner. God can give you peace. I know you have no peace. Turn from your sin today. Give your life to Jesus Christ. He'll give you peace beyond understanding. The Bible says that God commands all people everywhere to repent. Repent! Because He has appointed a day in which He will judge the world in righteousness Yes, you will be judged in righteousness by that man who he has ordained, whereof he's given assurance unto all men and women that he has raised him, Jesus, from the dead. All sinners love that verse. You're not supposed to judge. You're not God. Jesus said you're already judged. You die in this condemned state that you're in. If you die in this condemned state that you're in, it is hell to pay. Hell to pay. But your lungs are still breathing. Your heart's still pumping blood. You have breath. You're alive. There's still a chance for you. There's still a chance for forgiveness. There's still a chance for new life. Many today in hell, many today at this moment in hell, wishing they had your chance. Wishing that they had one more chance to repent 
and turn from their sins. These are those that Jesus created. These are those that Jesus loved. But yet they're still in hell because they refused to repent. They refused the gift of God, which is Jesus Christ. They turned their back from God. They rebelled against God. And God will not be around sin in heaven. You will not be allowed to pick up your sin and waltz yourself into heaven. You must be cleansed. You must be forgiven. You must be sanctified. You must be justified. Otherwise, it's hell to pay. It's all possible. It's all possible for you today. Remember, this message of forgiveness was, was preached to you today. If you die tonight and you lift your eyes being in torments and torments of hell, understand these words will echo throughout your eternity. I could have repented. I could have repented. Sitting in your car with your windows rolled up, I know you hear me. I know you hear me. And now you back out. You need to repent, sinner. There's going to be no smiles in hell. There's going to be no cell phones in hell. Yeah, it's not going to be funny for you. Watch the wall you're going to bang into. We wouldn't want to, We want you to end up in the OR. You might see something that you might not like. Yeah, you might see something that you might not like. Maybe you might wake up from your sinful state. You need to repent and give your life to Jesus Christ while you have a chance. Sinners laugh. Sinners scoff. They won't be scoffing. They won't be sinning in hell. They'll be saying, Father Abraham! Father Abraham! Send Lazarus over to stick his fingers in the water to cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. Understand you will be tormented in the flame. The book of Revelation says in the flame, the flame of their torment, the smoke of their torment, went up forever and ever. Forever and ever is a long time. It's a long time. Repent. Get right with Jesus Christ today. Yep, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. You're not going to be able to get to heaven your own way. You're not going to be able to negotiate with God on that day of judgment. Your sin's going to send you straight to hell. Straight to hell. But you can opt out of that today. You can have forgiveness of your sin today if you would repent of your sin and give your life to Jesus Christ. Would you repent of your sin today? Would you turn from your sin? Would you leave Planned Parenthood? This is probably just the beginning of your sins. I'm sure you have many more than just fornication and uh, murder. Probably many more sins than that. Do you have any pet sins that you like? Do you have pet sins that you like, man? Do you, do you, do you engage in a lot of sin that you like? I used to. I used to. I'm not saying I never did. But I'm forgiven. You could be forgiven today. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. What's that? They're not going to be able to find out on their own time because no one preaches. I did. Yeah, God, I, I was. I was able to. I'm one of the lucky few. What's your excuse? You're actually hearing the message today. I can't hear you. I don't care about what you said. That's the problem. Okay. That's the problem. That's problem. But you're not going to be able to say, God, I never knew. I never knew. That's my problem, not yours. That, that will be your problem. Absolutely. But it, my, my, my hands are clean. And I hope you're not recording. 
Uh, she's okay. recording you. Why? Why not? Why? Why not? Why? It's w one. It's for my protection. I don't know who you are. I don't have to listen to you. This is a public sidewalk. I can even come closer if I like to. Okay. Okay. So what's the problem? What's the big deal? Are you are you ashamed? Are you ashamed to be in Planned Parenthood, ma'am? I think you might be. Okay. Well, then don't don't worry about the camera, because you, I, I'm not worried about you. I'm just giving you the warning. I'm giving you uh, giving you a message of love, ma'am, and you're just not willing to receive it today. I can't. What do you mean? What, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? I'm I'm a preacher from God. I preach the Bible. How do you know that? I, I know you don't want to hear it because you're stuck in your sin. You like your sin more than God. That's the problem. So give up the sin. I, I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, but that's okay. You, you're going you're gonna to deserve what you get. God has given you enough grace to be alive today. You know, you're alive today. You should take advantage of that today. There are many p people in hell today that don't have what you have. They don't have that last breath. So what are you going to do? You're going to waste it? Why would you waste that? Why would you? Why would you waste the God's grace? Why won't? Why won't you get right with God? I know that I, you have free will. God has given you free will. Okay. So. Okay. Understand this. When you die, if you die tonight. You will spend an eternity in hell. You will remember this conversation for all of eternity. No, it won't be fun because it's very hot in hell. There's no disco inferno. Okay? Just remember that. Uh, I'm going to advise you to pick up a Bible. Uh, I think that there's some pride hiding behind your eyes that you don't want to take advice from me. And that's fine. But listen to my words. Pick up a Bible. Go to John chapter 3. The Bible says, uh, Jesus said, unless a man is born again or a woman, cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You're not born again. You're in big trouble. So think about that. You can be born again if you would repent of all your sins and give your life to Jesus Christ. But you said you don't want to do that. Lord, I will praise you with all of my heart. How marvelous the works you Search me, O oh God, know all of my heart. Try me, know every day. How you doing? You know Jesus. Good morning, yeah.